Here's the prototype for my automatic Arduino control clock. Hey guys, I made this prototype a while back. I saw a video on YouTube, I'll put a link below, where they retrofitted some devices on an old uh, tower clock to make it more automatic. I wanted to give it a try. <laughs> it's a 3D printed clock. There's a motor to rewind. And then now I added that Arduino board. It has a hole sensor down here on the pendulum that measures the speed. And then when it's I know the speed, I can adjust the length of the pendulum by the string pulled by the stepper motor up there. Okay, the clock, the stepper motor. There's a tilt switch. And let it go. Tilt switch. Then it control this small relay. And there's a motor back there, a, ser a servo, a continuous rotation that pulls on the string. Step a motor, let's see if we have some motion at some point. There, at length. So the string comes down here, all the way down. Holds the weight at the end of the pendulum. And then further down, here's the I taped a magnet at the end of the pendulum and it triggers that hall sensor. The hall sensor is connected to that mini breadboard and then to the Arduino and then Arduino has that controller for the stepper motor. That's part of the program. And then I'm printing the timing. So when then when there's those equal sign, nothing is happening. Mostly nothing happening. Milliseconds, by the way. So here the two minute sign means I shorten up the pendulum. Just here it went too slow, so it lengthen the 1970. Here it lengthened four, four times in a row. Shorten, lengthen, say shorten, lengthen. The anchor is also something I had to change. Plastic against plastic dust collects on the, on the anchor and it stopped working after a couple of days. So now I put those metal insert in the anchor. Now this has worked for 10 days straight. Tilt switch, I need to improve. The vibration is triggering, doesn't work that well. Since I have the ability to collect data, let's have a look at what data tells us. What surprised me the most is how much variation there is. It goes from the highest 2028, the lowest 1944. That's almost 1.5% variation both, si both direction. That's much bigger than I was expecting. And then what we can see it's kind of 
cyclic every minute goes up goes down goes up goes down so I'll be curious to experiment with different kind of escapement and see how that carries on when I was first building this I was thinking of just regulating every swing and get pretty much close to 2000 millisecond every swing but I had to change my plan and I have more or less 25 milliseconds just showing that little bit of code if it's smaller than 1975 means it goes too fast so I'm lengthening the pendulum 32 steps and I print the plus plus if it's between 1976 and 2024 I do nothing you just have the equal sign and if it's bigger than 2025 then I shorten the pendulum 32 steps the sign is opposite here's plus minus and uh, print the two minus sign that's where I'm at now with that prototype uh, stay tuned and it will be continued please like subscribe and see you next time thank you for watching bye